Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I'm doing an inspired look. So on Facebook, Oceana reached out to me and showed me this little video of this makeup look and um, apparently it's a very kind of go-to common look in the country where she lives, which is Nepal. And she asked if I wouldn't mind recreating it. So that's what I'm going to do today. I will see if I can put the video here of the makeup look. It's very pretty. I think it's gonna be quite a nice one to do. Um, and yeah, so if you're interested, then please keep on watching. Start with my base first. So I'm going in with my Hansen Pure um, Mattifying Primer. Then I'm going to go in with the Lily Lolo Foundation in Cotton. I think it was um, Justina a while ago asked how this worked with fingers or a sponge because she can, can't use brushes um, during the winter time because her skin is too sensitive. And I tried it with fingers and um, I kind of updated her, let her know. But I never I haven't tried it with a sponge yet. So I actually do have a sponge here. This is from Beauty Bay. Um, and I'm just going to give it a go with this. I imagine this works perfectly well. I imagine it will give a slightly lighter coverage than a brush would. But I'm sure this will apply just as beautifully. Oh, and so I said on my community that I'm doing my kind of annual Christmas festive Q&A, which loads of people um, have sent in their questions already. And I said I was filming it today, which is the 19th, which is when you're going to see this video. I'm actually going to film it tomorrow, which is the 20th. So you've got if you've got any more questions, um, or if anyone hasn't seen that um, in my community. Please feel free to leave any um, questions down below um, and I will be filming that tomorrow. So you've got, kind of got the end, to the end of today. Okay, so it applies really beautifully with a sponge. I think, yeah, like I said, it does give a lighter coverage but you can build up quite nicely. Um, and it's sitting really pretty on the skin. I think because obviously I'm, I'm using this damp as well, it just adds a little bit more um, kind of a dewy effect to it. Not like oily but just a nice extra dew to it and it's working really really nicely I'm just going to take it and put it under my eyes I know it's not a concealer but I just I'm intrigued to see how nicely it sits under the eyes as well okay I am going to do a little bit of setting of the skin I'm going to use the Hansen Pure Bamboo Powder for this I'm going to use the sponge again and just take a little bit under the eyes I'm not baking I'm just taking a little bit just to set just push it into the skin. And obviously over my T-zone. Now it's hard to tell the video that she's got any like kind of definition in terms of bronze or contour. So I'm just going to do a very, very light amount of bronzing of the skin. And my Sculpt and Glow Contour Kit from Lily Lolo. And just go very lightly. I think blusher is definitely the main focus on the skin portion. Okay, and like I said, blush is definitely the focus for this. Um, I'm going to go in with Coralie's to brush a blusher. And in the video, she's got it quite high up um, on the cheeks by the looks of things. I might zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, so it definitely looks like it's quite high up on the cheeks and right kind of on the apples. It's quite prominent, so I'm just going to go ahead and build this up. Okay, it looks like there's a little bit just going across her nose, but just very lightly as well. I'm going to move on to brows. Now, the brows in the picture are kind of nice and rounded, not too fluffy and thick or anything like that. So, I'm going to attempt to recreate that. So, I'm just going to go in with the ABH as I always do, taking my shade Auburn. And I'm just going to try and give the brows something a bit more rounded. Okay, so I've tried to give my arch a bit more roundedness instead of like an angle angle so hopefully that's 
looking good. I'm just going to go over my lids with my sponge. So the eyes look very simple. It doesn't look like she's got any eyeshadow on. And it's all about the liner. Um, and it's kind of not quite cat eye because it doesn't seem to come into the inner corner. Um, but it's definitely in the waterline wrapped around. And then there is a wing. Not Nothing too dramatic but there is a wing on the outer portion as well. It looks like she's used liquid but I don't have a liquid liner. So I'm going to use a mixture of a pencil and then probably go over with a black eyeshadow just to deepen up and make sure it's kind of got that nice deep black. So this is the Nabla Velveteen Eyeliner Bombay Spice. Bombay Black, sorry. I'm going to first of all light, um, tight line and waterline with this. done and now I'm going to go ahead and give it a small wing now it's kind of more yeah it's a very small wing but it looks like it thickens slightly on the outer portion here and then there's a line going here and it gets slightly thicker so it's a very delicate wing actually um, but it definitely wraps around the eye so I'm going to have a go I do kind of want it to obviously also suit my eye shape as well, but I feel that's kind of where she's got it. In. Okay, and then yeah, it's much thinner. I might actually use an angle brush with a black eyeshadow for that, but I think that might be easier. Um, so the black eyeshadow I'm going to use is just from my Z palette. It's the Nabla eyeshadow just here and that is called I don't know if you can still get it or not pitch black um, actually I think you can, I know that blush you can't get anymore but. so on an angled brush, although this is my eyebrow one so I probably don't want to use that I'll take it on I've got a really diddy ah. this is a Bold Metals from Real Techniques 202 brush, I think it's quite a thin oh you going to fit, yeah quite a thin angled brush so this is going to help with a bit more precision but I think I will have to go in with a bit of concealer just to neaten bits up. I'm going to use this just to thicken it slightly in areas I need to, deepen up, and then this will allow me to get much thinner kind of in this inner portion. Okay, I'm not too worried about the messiness right now. I'm going to have to clean that with the concealer. Right, let's get right in here. This is where probably liquid liner would make life a lot easier. Okay, now I'm going to take a really small flat brush. One like this and take concealer now. Or I might just take the foundation actually. And just go ahead and neaten this up. So, definitely need to neaten up the wing. It's definitely not as winged out as I've made it either. It's quite a smallish, delicate flick. So I'm going to reduce it slightly as well. Okay, I think I'm happy with the eyes. Now it's all about mascara. So I'm just going to layer up my lashes upper and lower with some mascara. So my big lash mascara. Okay, moving on to lips. Now, it kind of has, it's, I wouldn't say it's a matte lip, but it's definitely not glossy. It almost look, reminds me of those blur liquid lipsticks you can get from Colourpop. Where it's not like... It's not really precise around the outer portion. And the colour isn't far off, I feel like, this um, from Ritual Defeat in Delirium. Um, but I think it's just a little bit more pigmented. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all take my Hansen Pure lipstick in Pink Canyon. This one here. And I'm just going to give a light layer of this to the lips just to get a bit more depth to it. And then use my finger to blend out. Okay, 
And then to get a bit more kind of coral tone, which I feel like it's got, going in with the Richard Fee on my finger. I'm just building up slightly. Okay, and that is this makeup look complete. So I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope Oceana, um, I recreated it as uh, you think I did a good job recreating it. Um, obviously, people's face shapes are very different, so things are going to look slightly different, but um, I think it was a really pretty makeup look, definitely. Relatively simple to do, I think, to achieve, um, but it makes a statement, like the wing liner definitely kind of makes your eyes stand out which I think is really pretty and I like this lip as well and the kind of more blurred effect around the lip line so I really do hope you enjoy it thank you so much to Oceana for asking me to do this it's um I always enjoy doing your requests and um, like that so don't forget to keep leaving your requests down below um and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy and I s I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching